All right, this is what I need you to do. She threw up a bunch in it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what I need you to do. I need you to go to the kitchen, make a pot of coffee, pour a mug three quarters full, and then you fill the rest with whiskey, and you need like a teaspoon of brown sugar in it, all right? Wait, I'm gonna make an Irish coffee. Whipped cream would be fantastic. Go. I just got great feet. Pop Trigger here at South by Southwest. Brie has left us. It's okay. She went to a screening. I'm here with Brett, and we're going to talk about night owls. Yeah, so we wanted to give you guys like a glimpse of what it is like for the actors and the crew and the director when you're at South by Southwest. And this is the one that we chose. Like, this is the one. Yeah. So wow. basically, you guys... Yeah. You, Thank you. Yeah, you can characterize South by Southwest however you want, and this will be like the official way people perceive it. Sure. Uh, we're here with Rosa Salazar, Adam Pally, and Charles Hood. Uh, they are from Night Owls. Um, and so just tell, if you guys could tell us about the movie and what people can expect when they go in. Oh, do I have to do it? Okay. Charles. Yeah, director, yeah, that's your responsibility. Uh, yes. Um, uh, our movie, Night Owls, uh, premiered last night, showing again tomorrow. We, uh, that's a, about a one night stand from hell, basically. Adam uh, goes home with Rosa and uh, finds out that she's actually his uh, boss's ex-mistress. Ooh, And wow. uh, then she takes a bottle of sleeping pills and he's gotta keep her awake all night. And I read the reviews and people are raving about your performances, about the movie, so congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. But what I hear most about is the chemistry. People are yeah. saying that the chemistry is popping off the screen. So were you guys friends oh. beforehand? Um, yeah, we Rose and I met doing a, a, another movie a couple years previously, and we're like total opposite. We come from totally opposite places, but it's rare you like meet someone, you just click in, and you start speaking the same language, doing bits and whatnot. And so when this movie came along, it was just a perfect fit and and an, an excuse for me to hang out with Rose and Laura. <laughs> Um, and uh, it was awesome. Every part of it was just the best. It was like the longest uh, sleepover that you have with like your best friend. <laughs> yeah. Right. So like yeah. you you shot. How long did it take to shoot this night? It was se <laughs> yeah. it was seventeen seventeen shooting days, thirteen nights in a row. And we lived at the house with no cell reception on the like at the top of Topanga, and yeah. so it was like this winding road with no railing up the mountain, and so you could not come down. It would be like a, a hazard to come down. Yeah, at any time of night. Yeah. Well, there was one Mexican restaurant in there that we'd just go to every night. Wait, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was like in the middle of Topanga Canyon. They would almost stay open for us. Uh, but it was it was cool to be like isolated like that and just kind of dealing with, it felt like one long night. It really, really did. Yeah. That's a 17 day long night. It so was. I, yeah. I can imagine. Now your character, you play a, a hot mess, a beautiful disaster. Yeah. So oh, thank you. What did you, what, what did you do to get into that mindset of your character? Um, well, I pulled a lot from my younger self. Um, Ooh. I made a lot of interesting decisions. Pause, um, can you give us an example? Oh God! Um, From younger Rosa, I dated uh, my brother's best friend. Oh, Rosa! Who lived, <laughs> who lived with um, Vic? This is for you. Um, who lived with my brother, and he lived upstairs, and my brother was downstairs. I literally made a bed sheet rope, and cl I had to climb out the window because my brother was knocking on the door, being like, "Hey, Mike, uh, are we gonna watch Redskins today?" Um, and a uh, Redskins is a, is a racist. It's a skin. It's a racist. It's a racist. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's about the killing of Native Americans. Yeah, that so was big I in the Salazar house. Uh, but that's just one example. And like, he was like a sound mixer with no ambition. Um, uh, I'm hung up on the that. fact that you built a rope made out of I bed literally sheets did like, like MacGyver. <laughs> it was, that was the best part of it. But I was young and reckless, and like, I come from a very um, tumultuous background. Um, so I had, I sort of had to like, it was like a rough and tumble learning experience for me. So this was really cathartic because now I am completely sane and put together. <laughs> <laughs> I own a house, like I'm very responsible. You are, you're I'm an a adult. very different person. Yeah, she's and Madeline an is harkens back she's to trying. that. Um, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> um, just, I'm gonna <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, here, comes, here comes Little Rosa. Here comes Little, little Rosa. Rosa. Charles, you're embarrassing us. <laughs> but yeah, it was very cathartic to like, it was nice to go through that and, and be reminded of all of those um, silly things and like, you know, deal with it. Because you never really deal with your past, you just sort of leave it behind. You're like, hope no one saw that. <laughs> so this was, Madeline is like half 
uh, little Rosa, as you put it, and then um, half whatever comes out with Kevin. Yeah, let's talk about Kevin. Yeah, so th- I, what is it like to be at South by Southwest as an actor and, and having your film here? What is that experience like? It's been great. It's been like totally um, lo- uh, amazing to, to have a movie play and then instantly have feedback like that and and it's been really nice and uh, a movie like this that is small and and kind of doesn't usually have the eyes on it uh, hopefully people respond to it here and so I'm, I'm excited and so Charles to have your film at South by Southwest what is that like as a as a director like how how does it change from before you heard that the film was getting in to today uh, I mean, it's a dream come true. This is like, a, from the moment we finished the movie, people were saying this feels like a South by Southwest movie. So to get in is a dream. Like, it's, it's been, I can't even, I mean, it's, it, it's been pretty, really amazing. Yay. For us and, well, Charles so just got the best um, compliment ever in um, one of the reviews that came out. I don't, I don't remember if it was Collider or not, but they said that um, he reinvented the romantic comedy. That's huge. Oh my god. That's huge. <laughs> that's that's so like, two you're points. Really downplaying like, yeah. your experience here. But keep in mind that's from a blog, so. Hey! <laughs> two points for you. Now, one it of our. It was written sh- by like a pack of Stanny kid who <laughs> is like playing. <laughs> who like, also gives me more craft service. at the same time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. So let's let's measure you this. You managed to be racist in every. Yeah, thing. you're very Thank supportive. You. I Thank love you. the support for your director. I was alienate a different race in every interview. Yes. And I think you've accomplished that. I think you have. We're going to wrap this up. But one you guys that, are white, right? Uh, <laughs> is that cool? Is that cool? Yeah. yeah that's what you say. <laughs> um, okay, so our <laughs> stick at our stick at pop triggers. We usually uh, we start out our show by summarizing the subject or even launching the subject in five words or less. So I want you to describe. You can either choose South by or you can describe the movie in five words or less. We're gonna do rapid fire. Okay, okay Rosa, you go. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, are you doing uh, South by or the movie? I'm doing the movie. Okay. Um, Latina. But <laughs> Jewish <Latina> but. <laughs> but um movie. Latina but Jewish but movie, okay. <laughs> Adam and go. Well, I was gonna do South by, but now I feel like I have to do the movie. <laughs> um so I'm gonna say Adam Pally, Rosa Salazar, dark romantic comedy. That's way <laughs> more than a lot. <laughs> I think that's six words, but that's okay. Finally. Oh, Am I doing the movie too, or should I do South, South by? South by. No, do the movie and then South by. Yeah, you can do. You're the director. You can do both. He, but did, he broke all the rules. I don't know. Uh, like... Funny, sad, good. Uh, <laughs> and this is South by. <laughs> He's so <excited. laughs> no, You want me to do five words on oh, South yeah, by? Oh yeah, you're doing both. You really want to do five words on South by? I'll do five words okay. on South by. Okay. Um, scallop truck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and car wash jamboree. What? Awesome. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get going. Congratulations, you Thank guys. Thank you. We have some presents. What? Yeah. Yes. Because you hate cats and Alf eats cats. Yeah, there you go. I hate cats. Do you hate cats? Uh, no. Good. I hate this t-shirt. And <laughs> make sure I think he has yours. It. You have you have, you hate our t-shirt. No, Very I love nice. it. Alienated hold up your hold up your t-shirt. Yeah. Hold up your t-shirt shirt. and hold up my pillow. Yeah, no, but those are the shirts you each have to wear. <laughs> uh, thank you for this. So I have to wear the girl. I got Adam's, the one he wears. Thank you. My dad is gonna love this. Okay, good. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Check out Night Owls, and we will see you all next time on Pop Trigger. Bye. Bye.